Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 30th of October to the 3rd of November 2017. As always, we're going to start with the US dollar index and oil and we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to highlight some targets that we're looking for in the coming week and weeks ahead. So I hope you had a great week last week. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see that the US dollar index last week did come back and test the broken area of resistance, acting as support at 93.455. And we said on the test of this area of support, we were going to look for bullish advances in the dollar index last week. And we were looking up towards the target of the 94.03, which, as you can see, we accomplished last week and we're on the daily chart here. And we actually broke and we end the week and we go into next week above the key area of resistance 94.030. So what that means is next week we are going to look for a pullback and we're going to look for some correction to come into the US dollar index. A possible test of broken resistance at the 94.030 becoming support. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking for further advances in the dollar index now. And we're going to be looking up towards the target of the 95.270, which is the next key area of resistance to the upside in the dollar index. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, last week we were sitting at the 51.25 area of support and we were looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area. And we were looking to take longs up towards the target of the 52.73, which is the next key area of resistance. And as you can see, we had a really nice move up towards this target and accomplished this last week. And we actually broke through this key area of resistance with a fair bit of strength. As you can see over here, there's quite a bit of momentum in this move through the key area of resistance of 52.73. And what this means is next week we are going to be looking for some corrections to take place in oil, possibly even a retest, although it may be a little bit ambitious because this move is so strong, of the 52.73 broken resistance becoming support. But if we get a correction or we get some kind of a channel like this to the downside, we're going to be looking for a chance to buy into this market at a better price. And we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking to take longs up towards the targets of the 54.48 and the 55.23, which are the next key areas of resistance to the upside in oil. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro US dollar. Now, last week, Euro US dollar sold off heavily from the key area of resistance at the 1.18363. And we had this big sell off off of the back of the ECB press conference last week. As a result of this big sell off here and a break below key area of support at the 1.17225, we're looking for further declines in the euro US dollar next week. And what we'd like to see is a correction take place in order to get involved with this pair at a better price. It may be a bit ambitious again because this is such a steep move uh, to come back and retest broken support becoming resistance at the 1.17225. But if we get a channel, we get some kind of correction to the upside, we're going to be looking in this area over here for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at shorting those bearish formations and patterns down towards the next key area of support to the downside in Euro US dollar, which is the 1.14932. Next, we're going to have a look at pound US dollar. Now, last week, pound US dollar as well sold off heavily from the 1.32696 area of resistance, as you can see. And we broke down below the key area of support at the 1.31550. And as you can see, pound US dollar is really ranging between these levels. And now we have a break down below this key area of support at the 1.31550. We're looking for a retest of broken support to act as resistance. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the target next week in the pound US dollar to the 1.30342, which is the next key area of support to the downside in this pair. 
The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now last week we'd broken above the Kiev resistance at the 113.186 and we were looking up towards the targets of the 114.487 which we came very close to completing last week. We have had a correction in the US dollar Japanese yen and we are going to be looking possibly for a further correction and maybe even a retest of broken resistance becoming support at the 113.186. Either way, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area. And we're going to be looking at taking those longs up towards the target that we had highlighted from last week at the 114.487. And if we get a break through this key area resistance, we have a second target to the upside that we're looking at at the 115.485 in the US dollar Japanese yen. The next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week we had a big sell off in the Aussie US dollar after we had some poor CPI data coming out of Australia. Now, as a result, we broke down below the key area of support at 0 0.77482. Going into next week, we are looking for a correction to take place in order to get involved with this pair at a better price, possibly even a retest of broken support becoming resistance. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form. And we're going to be looking at shorting these bearish formations and patterns down towards the next two key areas of support to the downside at the 0 0.76156 and the 0 0.75817. If we start to get a bit of a retracement and a retest of broken resistance becoming support in the US dollar index, we should see a climb to the upside in the Aussie, allowing us to get a better price to the downside in this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, last week we traded into the two targets we had highlighted here to the downside at the 0 0.68640 and also down towards the 68217 before bouncing up a little bit higher towards the end of the week. We go into next week looking for a pullback in the US dollar index, as already discussed. And so we could see a run up towards broken support at the 0 0.6953. And if we get a retest of this broken support area and we see this acting as resistance, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking back down towards the low, first of all, over here at the 0 0.68217. But if we can get a break down through this key area of support, we're going to be looking down towards the target and the next key area of support in the New Zealand US dollar at the 0 0.66791. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar franc. Now, last week we were looking for a trade from the key area of support at the 0 0.97622 up towards the target of the 0 0.98783. And you can see we accomplished this target last week. And as we broke through, we came back and already tested this key area resistance turning support at the 98783. And we've seen a bounce from this area and we're looking now up towards the target the next key area of resistance in the US dollar franc at the 1.00774. Now, what we'd like to see is a further correction going into next week as we get a bit of a correction in the US dollar index. This is going to provide a great opportunity to start to look for bullish formations and patterns up towards the target and the next key area of resistance, as mentioned here at the 1.00774. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now, last week we traded into the two targets we had highlighted in the US dollar CAD at the 1.26491 and also into the next key area resistance and the target to the upside at the 1.27730. So now these two targets have been accomplished to the upside and we've actually had a break above the second target and the second key area resistance at the 1.27730. It looks like we are now coming back to test this broken area of resistance as support. And if we get a pullback into this area, this is going to provide a great place to look for bullish formations and patterns up towards the target and the next key area of resistance to the upside in the US dollar CAD at the 1.29973. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Now Euro Pound has been trading to the downside as you can see here in this kind of channel in the four hour chart. Now, we are coming fairly close towards the first target here at the 0 0.88103 in the next key area support to the downside. So what we would ideally like to see going into next week is a correction somewhere up towards this 
downward sloping trend line as you can see over here and if we get this kind of correction this is going to allow us to get involved with this pair at a better price and we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear and if we get those patterns we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the first key area of support and target at the 0 0.88103 and if we get a breakthrough here we're going to be looking to a secondary target of the next key area of support to the downside in the euro pound at the 0 0.87765. The next pair we're going to look at is the Swiss franc Japanese yen. Now, last week we broke down below key area of support at the 114.441. So very simple. Next week we are looking for a correction and a retest of broken support to turn resistance. And we're going to be looking to take bearish formations and patterns down towards the first target here of the 113.521. And if we get a breakthrough this key area of support, we're going to be looking down to a secondary target here and the next key area of support to the downside in the Swiss yen at the 112.683. And finally, we are going to look at the Canadian dollar Japanese yen. Now, the CAD yen is providing a fairly similar setup to the Swiss yen that we just looked at. We have had a breakdown below key area of support at the 89.067. And so very simply, we are looking for a correction and a retest of broken support to become resistance. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area. And if we get those patterns, we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the target next week and the next key area of support in the CAD yen at the 87.633. So that is it from me for this week, guys. Don't forget that next week we have no less than three interest rate decisions as well as non-farm payroll. So expect a lot of volatility in trading next week. We also have the prospect of a rate increase in the British pound or from the Bank of England. So just bear that in mind going into trading next week. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. You all know that I very much appreciate you all who do that on a regular basis. Again, just bear in mind the volatility likely coming into the markets next week. Apart from that, the only thing left to say is take care, have a great weekend and don't forget to trade safely.